It's Monday morning, and uh, starting next Monday, Constance and I are uh, are going to be hosting Monday Night Magic class uh, here in Sacramento. Uh, who knows if it'll be a regular a regular thing? We're going to start it off by uh, by doing class every. Uh, every Monday for a while anyway, just to, to see uh, how it is. Uh, once we started it in Costa Mesa, it went 40, 45 years or something like that, close to that. Uh, but who knows, uh, this is a new uh, city for us. And and um, already the very first, um, uh, I'm gonna plug my equipment in here. Uh, uh, next next Monday, uh, the, uh, May seventeenth or June seventeenth is going to be is already uh, uh, filled with the. There's enough interest in it that uh, people have RSVP'd uh, uh, more than we can get in the, our living room. <laughs> so uh, uh, if you haven't already contacted me and RSVP'd and, and everything, uh, this Monday uh, we'll. we'll uh, there won't be room for any more, but usually they're just, you know, eight or nine people, uh, 15 kind of tops. Uh, uh, that's about all we can squeeze in. Um, but it becomes a regular thing for many, for many people. And some classes are better than others, but it just sort of develops into an organic, uh, uh, uh organic kind of thing where we, oh, become like a family uh, and who knows if it'll develop that way here but we're going to give it a try uh, today I want to uh, uh, talk about uh, the the concept the proactive concept of prayer uh, now in Freemasonry uh, we have uh, Freemasons, we we pray before we blow our nose. Okay, uh, the idea is that uh, no uh, great or important undertaking should uh, uh, ever start without first invoking the the blessing of deity. Okay, it's a very generic statement, but it is uh, the rule number one, foundational rule number one of Solomonic magic. You plug yourself in to the, the, the universal will, if you will, the universal current, before you try to do anything important, because if what you think is important to do uh, uh, goes against the, the the stream, the flow, the structure of existence itself. You're going to shoot yourself in your in the foot, and you're going to uh, it's going to blow up in your face. So just like Solomon, before you invoke evoke a demon. Okay, you better make sure that you know how to boss that demon around. Okay, you 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 have to be empowered by the 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 true unlubricated or the true <laughs> lubricated flow of existence yourself. So it'd be like uh, I don't have the power uh, myself to properly. Uh, engage these forces and direct them uh, but that power is in that light light socket up in the ceiling so if i plug into the light socket in the the, the ceiling and the electricity is going through me okay then i can just like the magician card i can direct it uh, to the forces below so it's always a good idea to uh, to to pray, and I love the idea uh, uh, how that technique is handled in masonry, because everybody's 
idea of God, everybody's idea of this big uh, uh, what it is that we're we are attempting to uh, harmonize with, uh, it's whatever it is to you. So there's we don't pray to Jesus, we don't play. We, it's a very generic thing, and it's not religious. Now, someone with with uh, uh, the current inability to grasp the universality of that concept, uh, you know, of course, could misinterpret it and and see it as a, as a religious thing, and uh, but actually, woe to to a, a Masonic chaplain. That, that would say, and we thank thee, thank you, Jesus. You know, he can thank Jesus at home, okay, but but it's a bigger universe he's in when he's in in Lodge. So I like that, and uh, but among magicians and uh, and neo pagans and witches and and uh, uh, militant non Christians that that have a have a bone to pick with one religion or another because of uh, of historical uh, atrocities uh, committed upon your religion or one religion to another would tend to say okay no i'm i'm, I'm a magician now i don't do any of that that uh, praying the thought of praying uh like I was taught in Sunday school, or like I was I was browbeat in a in a evangelical family or something like that. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I, I'm not a prayer guy. That's a mistake. Prayer is really a good thing. It's a very magical thing. As a matter of fact, it's the foundation of magical. Abermellon says, inflame yourself in praying. Okay, uh, John D. and Edward Kelly, they were nominally Christian, but yeah, yeah the world should be, uh, sh should be so experimentally Christian. Um, they didn't do pentagram rituals. They didn't do evoking pentagrams and stuff to, to get themselves uh, uh, into a state of, uh, of mind or an openness to the divine forces or, or to the universal forces um, to do the Enochian system. No. These guys got down on their knees and prayed and prayed and prayed for hours long, lengthy thing. Uh, they bored themselves into altered state of consciousness with their prayers. Uh, and, it, <laughs> and it worked, okay. Nowadays, uh, most of us are not so uh, psychologically and emotionally equipped to do that, nor nor are we uh, actually obliged uh, to do that. But the idea of taking time, even if it's just a moment or two in our daily consciousness experience, I'm conscious, okay, I got to go do stuff today. I got it's good to pause for a moment and in your own way stick your goddamn finger into the light socket in the ceiling and try to cooperate and ask for the energy to do what you need to do th that day. Now, I've written a 49-fold, that's seven times seven, prayer that I should actually give voice to every day. 
but I thought I would share Archbishop Duquette's daily prayer. O thou supreme singularity, O thou great what it is-ness, thou wall-to-wall -wall smoothness of existence and non-existence, here I am. This day, may I change how I need to change. May I be where I need to be. May I go where I need to go. May I do what I need to do. May I avoid what I need to avoid. May I remain where I need to remain. May I meet who I need to meet. May I touch who I need to touch. May I inspire who I need to inspire. May I declare what I need to declare. May I write what I need to write. May I read what I need to read. May I learn what I need to learn. May I teach what I need to teach. May I discard what I need to discard. May I acquire what I need to acquire. May I retain what I need to retain. May I recall what I need to recall. May I forget what I need to forget. May I be silent when I need to be silent. May I speak when I need to speak. May I travel where I need to travel. May I remain where I need to remain. May I work when I need to work. May I rest when I need to rest. May I abide where I need to abide. May I be strong when I need to be strong. And may I yield when I need to yield. May I advance when I need to advance. May I withdraw when I need to withdraw. May I be seen when I need to be seen. May I be invisible when I need to be invisible. May I hear what I need to hear. May I be heard when I need to be heard. May I oppose what I need to oppose. May I support what I need to support. May I be merciful when I need to be merciful. May I be ruthless when I need to be ruthless. May I be resolute when I need to be resolute. May I yield when I need to yield. May I stop what I need to stop. May I love what I need to love. May I hate what I need to hate. May I forgive what I need to forgive. May I avenge what I need to avenge. May I create what I need to create. May I sustain what I need to sustain. May I destroy what I need to destroy. May I die 
when I need to die. Amen. So mote it be. That's Archbishop du Duquette's prayer. And uh, that's where I'll end it today. <laughs> okay, until tomorrow, continue to be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Think about what your prayer might be. And then give it a shot. It only takes a minute. You can do it before you get out of bed. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love and your will.